We're back in the Venture Resolve 14, and what I'm gonna do today is show you what smart bins are all about and what metadata are all about. I know I talked about it in my previous video, but right now what we're gonna do is just go a little bit more detail on what these things are about in this page. So the smart bins is right here, and the metadata is here on the right. If you click on your file, you're gonna see all the metadata here. If you don't see everything, click this little thing at the top right and make sure all groups are selected. Now, metadata are very, very useful if your camera can have metadata inputted after shooting or while shooting. Uh, it can be useful as well for the cameras that don't have metadata capabilities, but if you are able to input metadata during shooting, it's just gonna be much easier and I'm gonna show you why. So let's say this Blackmagic Ursa Mini 4.6K camera, I put metadata in, which I didn't. Let's just say I did during the shoot. Let's say I put something like, in the keywords in the camera, I put something like um, B-roll, enter, right? So let's say I did that and I imported this file in DaVinci Resolve 14. I can label a lot of videos as B-rolls and when I come here and I import all my files in my media pool and they have a bunch of them, just imagine, I can create a smart bin and it will automatically filter out all my B-rolls or whatever I put in the keywords. And that's what's so great about metadata. It will save you so much time because after shooting, you can just put something like good take or something like that. I'm not professional, so I don't know what the proper names are, but you can put something, some type of keyword or flag it. So in post, you don't have to look at millions of clips and you can just look at your metadata and create a smart bin for it, which we are about to do right now. Let's create a smart bin that has our B-roll footage in it. It's all automated, which is awesome. If you go to the bottom left, Right click in that space, add smart bin. We can name this B-roll, B -roll. media pool is fine. The file name we're gonna change to keyword because that's the metadata we entered for this video. Keywords right here and we're gonna put contains and let's just say B-roll like that. Create smart bin and there you go. It's gonna create a bin that has your footage already in it. Now, like I said, if we had multiple footage, and let's go ahead and show you that. Let's, let's pull some other stuff here so I can show you how awesome this thing is. Now, you're not gonna have this file, but that's fine. Just try it with other files. Let's take it the Ursa. Got another Ursa here. Let's just drag and drop a bunch of this stuff here. We're gonna go to master. We're gonna drag and drop these, okay? All this stuff here, and we're gonna change the keywords again to be roll. See if we can Alt, B roll, and just selected both of them at the same time. And I don't think that took, okay, let's, let's try this again. B roll, enter. Okay, that one took, again, B roll. And like I said, it's better if you do it during shooting because you won't have to do it here. But if you don't have a camera, like I said, you can do it after the fact. Here we go. So if you go to our B roll smart bins, all of those footage that I type keyword as B-roll are already in your smart bin. How awesome is that?